Oh my god, this setup is... Love it. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to another monthly reset. If you don't know, every month I do a video on this channel where I reset for the month ahead. Clearly, it's in the title. And we do a couple little things. So the first thing I usually always do is I always strip my bed sheets and I give them a good wash because it's hygienic. Question mark. <laughs> Anyways, then we also like spray and wipe my whole room because it do be dusty sometimes. Then what else do we do? We do our little bullet journaling. We plan the month ahead. I literally have five different calendars, which is a lot, but I do like to plan. So we've got to plan that ahead. We also plan my content. And I think that's all we really do. We also kind of write a plan for the month itself as well. Kind of like what I'm going to do each week and all that fun stuff. So today is actually the 14th of May. And you might be wondering, Chloe, don't you usually do these like at the start of the month? Yeah. Yeah, I do. So at the start of the month, I was in Melbourne for Nile, which was amazing. Loved it. And then I got really sick because I was waiting there at 6am and the concert didn't start till 7.30. Bit silly of me in Melbourne weather. But I got really sick and I didn't want to do a reset when I was sick because obviously I'm dying. And also if I got snot and sweat and everything in my bed, I, you know, I'd have to wash it anyway. So I just left it. And then I've been really busy. I've been trying to pro focus and prioritize my uni for this month because I've got three more assignments left. And once I finish that, then I'm done for the semester and then we can really focus on my YouTube and all that. So I am in the process of filming a video where I'm getting back into routine, which you will hopefully see in a couple videos time. So we won't be spraying and wiping my room because if you can tell by the background, I have done a massive reset <laughs> and changed everything. So we don't need to spray and wipe. We do need to wash my sheets. However, the first thing that I kind of want to do is my bullet journal because it's I literally have not touched it in like what three weeks now and I need to and I want to color it in and I want to fill it out and I, I just need to do it it's just doing my head in that I'm not doing it ow but yeah we're gonna color that in sorry <laughs> this is my bullet journal it's from Amanda Rachley and I love the bullet journal because basically it is like a colouring in book and everything's like pre-made and everything is great. So this month's theme theme is like they kind of look like moths. I don't know if they're moths or butterflies or whatever. But that's what the theme is. Camera jump, have a tracker. Again, clearly I have not filled this in at all. The spreads. I don't know what colors I want to do. I'm gonna go Instagram and I'm gonna type up. Sometimes I like to see what other people do and how they interpret the month ahead. See, for example, this person, which is Chloe, her name's Chloe, dot lim dot underscore bujo, buju. That's how she's done it this month. Then we have another one, which is Ken's Creative Hub. This is how she's colored it in. There's that one. So, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to do the same colours as I did for last month. For reference, this is the colours I did for last month. And I kind of love these colours. So, I think I might do it again for this month and make it all pretty. If I am being completely honest, as I am colouring this in, I did not realise how intricate it was. Like, I'm, I feel like this is taking me a while and usually it doesn't take me this long and to think I have to do this on every single page. But you know what, while we're here and we're talking, why don't I fix the camera angle for once? And while I'm colouring, I'm just going to talk about some of my goals because you know obviously this month has not been off to the best start but that's okay i'm not beating myself up over it yet um, i only have like a couple goals and one of them is to do sunday resets so i'm going to start doing 
incorporating Sunday resets. I used to do Sunday resets a lot and they're really helpful for me at least especially because I did one last Sunday and like planning my week ahead so I know what's happening what's going on and like also I don't know mainly it's just planning the week ahead and being very aware of what's what's happening in my life because I feel like my life gets very busy sometimes and I just can't cannot keep up after doing that Sunday reset I just felt so much better about my week this week and also incorporating writing in my digital journal um, in the mornings just to plan out my day helps immensely so I want to incorporate that a little bit more my second goal which seems obvious to me is to get back into routine because clearly I have not been in a routine granted uni is just a little bit stressful it's not it's really not that's just me making an excuse but it's a little bit stressful so I'm trying to prioritize uni whilst also trying to balance life it's it's just not going great so I want to get back into a routine try and get that all sorted so that like I know I just feel <laughs> better in general and then my final goal which kind of relates to the whole thing is finish all of my uni stuff that i have to do so i have obviously my last three assignments which i was talking about earlier and then that's all i have to do i think i have two quizzes but yeah those are my three goals i've almost finished coloring in my little there we go i finished the front page this is the front page i kind of love it it's great I'll show you the final look once, the final look, uh, the final thing once I'm done it all, but I probably won't finish that until much, much later. Hello guys. It is in fact Wednesday at uni today and I was waiting to get Olivia Rodrigo tickets, which I still am waiting. I did get through, but then the, all they had was the VIP ones and I was like, mm, maybe not. So... Anyways, that was not the point. The point was my little bullet journal. So I finished doing all of the spreads. So this is what I ended up looking like. So that's all my goals there. Then we obviously have the mum. Then the habit and mood tracker. And then this is what like one of the pages. Looks like, I think it turned out super cute. I love the color scheme. But now all I have to do is fill that out as well as fill out my calendars and the do all that. But before, before we get into all of that fun stuff, I'm gonna tidy up my room a bit because I came home from uni and I just wanted to sit there. I got a message from Boopa Optical and I have glasses now. I wish I was lying. I wish I was lying. These are my glasses. I don't know how to feel about them. She said she was very conflicting. I need them because I can't see long distance. But she was a bit conflicting when I asked her, like, when should I wear them? She said, when well, I'm concentrating. And I'm like, well, I'm always concentrating. So that doesn't help, like, at all. But... I guess we will find out. She said to wear them as much as possible over the next two weeks and if I have any concerns then come back in and they'll fix it. The plan later on is to go to the movies. So before I do that, I'm gonna strip my bed and make it because I'm literally feeling so much better today in terms of like sickness and everything. So now we are going to start filling out everything. So I'm gonna fill out my bullet journal first. There's my week to week things. And my goals diary, I'm going to start filling out. Alright. So now I'm gonna fill out this, this, and my monthly calendar. Which is this of all the events things I have going on hi guys it is the next week and we are still doing this monthly reset I don't remember where I last left off 
I think I started filling out my calendars and everything. And I think all that I have left to do is fill out my YouTube calendar, which obviously is going to be a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. I want to try and maybe either start uploading next week or this week. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to do. Lovely. I'm not going to plan them out because that's going to stress me out. But I am hopeful. But yeah, I think that is it for this video. If I'm being 100% certain. I think that is it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with me and my inconsistent uploading. I will most likely be on track. I'm holding myself accountable to be on track once uni is finished. But yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you in my next video, whenever that may be.